Tom, beautiful film. And, and I think one of the most beautiful aspects is the whole theme of redemption. Do you yes. mind talking about that? Yes, I mean, I, I, I think there's a very strong theme in the film that no, no human being you know, should be beyond forgiveness. And mm -hmm. um, you, you have in the Russell Crowe and the Hugh Jackman characters these two very differing notions of, um, of, of, of justice. You know, the, the, the policeman thinks that if you've done wrong, you're branded forever. You can never come back from this. You're, you're you know, once a wrongdoer, always a wrongdoer. And, and the Jean Valjean character, you know, shows us that it's possible to do an extraordinary personal transformation. I mean, this is a, this is a man who's been brutalized from 20 years in hard labor as a convict who manages to reinvent himself and become a, a, a compassionate and a spiritual man and a moral man through this, this great epiphany that he has when he meets the character of the bishop. Mm -hmm. And that, that there's something very inspiring about, about this, this, this lesson in transformation, this journey in transformation that he goes on. And, and, I, and I think I'm always drawn to stories about transformation in the King's Speech. You know, the, lot of the theme of that was whether it was possible for, the, for this, this, this king to transform himself Mm. Uh, and not be trapped by who he was, and, 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 and this, at the center of it, has a similar story of the power, the power of individual transformation. Mm. Beautiful film. What, when you watch your work now, when you watch the film, what visuals move you? <laughs> um, I think it's probably, I'm, I'm always affected by the, by the opening. I mean, there's something about mm. seeing sort of like, I don't know, slaves building Egyptian pyramids, just these thousands of Poor guys, you know, up to their waist in seawater, hauling in this 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 boat, um, that that always moves me. But I think it's the songs. It's in, in some ways it's the simplest shots. It's the it's the, the close ups of my wonderful actors when 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 they're doing these extraordinary songs, which is when I get I get most moved and most um, uh, moved to tears. Mm. It was amazing last night in the theater that after. Anne Hathaway's song, everybody just broke, broke into applause, oh, like really? it was a live performance. Oh, wow. That's what was incredible to me. And you, you took a new technique, didn't you? Do you mind touching on that? Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I asked all the actors to sing all their parts live, and 99% of the film is the live vocal that we did on the day. Uh, and not only that, the, the piano accompaniment, which they were listening to as a guide, was also live. So it gave the actors all the kind of power and control they would normally have when they do dialogue, rather than giving it up by having to lip sync to a, you know, a playback. And mm. this great acting is about being in the moment, about creating the illusion that when you have dialogue or you have a speech or you have a song, you're, you're putting it out of the depths of your soul. Um, and to do that, you, you need control. You might need to stop for a moment for an idea or an emotion to form in your eyes before you sing. You, you know, if you, if you start crying, you might need to um, allow that emotion to suffuse the rest of a song. When you're doing it live, it, it allows the actor all the freedom to create in the moment in, 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 in the way that's best suited to great acting. Awesome production. It's going to do so well. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you so much. Appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank you. Thank you.